Hey, time for some fun. A big day today yeah. at the Children's Museum Houston opening up a brand new exhibit. Yes, this is very exciting. It's called Newton's Know How, dedicated to Isaac Newton, who discovered the laws of gravity and motion and even invented calculus. Joining us from inside the Children's Museum of Houston, oh, a familiar hey. face, Mr. O, developer of the exhibit. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing very well. How are y'all doing this morning? Good. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. We love this. We love having you on. Tell us about this new exhibit. What can we expect here? So this is Newton Know How's. The whole concept in here is to explore physics, but not with mathematics or anything complicated like that. Although you'll see all the equations up and around the walls in here. But thanks to Oxy and the Farish Fund, what we're able to present here is a chance for kids to really explore physics by doing physics because oh. motion is all around us and we're all forced to do things so the next time anyone asks you why are you here it's because you were forced there <laughs> and that's because you know every motion we have to make is because of force so anytime i push off with my leg to walk somewhere i am forcing myself to go somewhere <laughs> when you drive your car your car is forcing you to get to work or to get home depending upon your particular perspective at that moment <laughs> could be the could be my wife could forcing be. me to get home <laughs> uh, hey mr so why is it so important for children to experience learning as opposed to, you know, just like you said, writing an equation on the, on the wall and leaving it at that? Exactly, exactly. Well, because you need to understand the concepts. Why is the math the way it is? In order to do that, you actually got to do things. So, for example, if I come over here, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a motion sickness there, but this <laughs> is our gravity well. And so one of the really cool things about gravity well here is that kids can actually explore just with golf balls. These are easy things that they can continue to do at home and a yeah. giant funnel in our case, but you can use a much smaller funnel and smaller balls at home. You can use a bowl, but it's a chance for you to kind of just spin things around and what is it that's happening? Watch that motion and what's causing it? So in this case, it's going down that hole because of gravity. Gravity is pulling it down. Otherwise, they would have kept spinning over and over and over again. Yes. And these are lessons we can take home, which I love. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's, the, that's the whole purpose in here is we want kids to get involved. So we have back over here in the corner our dominoes table. So dominoes is a great game to play, but it's also really fun to build little domino trains and knock them all down. I'm sure we all did that as kids. Yeah. And, of course, the perennial tops. Tops are really complicated physics when it comes down to it because it's something called angular momentum. So the reason the top keeps spinning and not fall over because of gravity is because of the spin, which is the same reason why when you're on a bicycle, it's a lot harder to fall over the faster you're going. It's when you slow down and come to a stop, that's when you're more likely to fall over. That's right. Hey, Mr. O, can you tell us about what you have planned for today's big grand opening? Oh, well, of course, there's the wonderful myth of Sir Isaac Newton getting hit on head with an apple. So we happen to have an apple right over here, as I'm trying to point to it, as well as Sir Isaac Newton. And we're going to reenact the great uh, myth of him getting hit on the head by an apple, which is how he came up with the idea of gravity. Now, there's a little truth behind that. He actually did observe apples falling from a tree that made him think, well, why did they fall straight down? Which, in all honesty, was a very good question at the time. Mm -hmm. And it is about asking questions, right? I yeah, mean, is it, is it sure. part of the experience is teaching kids to not be afraid to speak up and ask, how does this work? Right. Explain it to me. That's, that's exactly it. You need to be willing to ask the question. That's the great thing about Newton Know How is that you get to experiment in here all throughout the space and do your experiments. What is it that is of interest to you? What questions are you wondering about? And in many cases, kids don't even necessarily verbally express these questions, but they want to find out, well, what happens if I go to this great golf ball roller coaster here and I start on the second hill or the third hill instead of up at the top? What if I give it a push? Instead of just simply starting it, what happens to the ball? Why doesn't it make it to the very end? Or why does it make it to the end? And how do I repeat that? All these are great questions that they can explore here in Newton Know How. Again, many thanks to Parrish and Oxy. Absolutely. And, and parents and kids have how long to check this out? They have a year. We have oh, a nice. great amount of time. So because there are a lot of questions to ask, so we want to make sure we give them plenty of time to come out and test and retest and retest. Yeah. So but make sure you come out. Don't 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 miss out on this wonderful wonderful fun.
That's great, Mr. O. So they got a full year to enjoy it. And just on a personal note, I mean, we have kids at home, and over the years, we've loved watching all of your segments. Yes. I mean, you've, you've made science, but more than that, you, I guess you, you've made play fun and learning, learning play. Fun, I mean, it's yeah. just, it's been incredible, Mr. O. We, we so appreciate you being with us, man. Well, thank you so much. And definitely, you know, learning should be play. Those are space facts. All learning should be play. Yeah, well, you learn more when you're enjoying it, right? I was not, I'm not a math exactly. or science brain, so I would have loved that as a kid. And you, you feel <laughs> silly in class because you're not exactly grasping physics or calculus. Sure. or Like, I don't want to be the one to ask the question. But this encourages kids <laughs> to ask questions, and there's no shame in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You should definitely come out here and give it a try yourself. I'm going to. Thank you, Mr. O. And don't to. forget all the other exhibits, too. This is the one yeah. that's here for a year, but the, you could spend all day at the Children's Museum and still there. not see we it. Oh, very easily. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. O. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.